All right, howdy folks. Uh, my name is Pete Ganapsky. I'm a geospatial software engineer with LM84. Um, I'm gonna be talking mostly about the Microsoft Planetary Computer, which is work that LM84 uh, does with Microsoft. Um, and yeah, like everyone said, I cut this down a lot. Um, for folks that aren't familiar with the Planetary Computer, it's a Microsoft project um, that uh, is a bunch of open data hosted in uh, EU West, so of interest to folks that live around here. Um, those data are free to use, so um, you don't need to use the compute resources that the planetary computer provides. You can actually use the data, and the data includes Sentinel of all flavors, Landsat, MODIS, GOES, and then a whole bunch of niche data sets as well, including land cover, operational forecast data. So um, I suggest um, checking that out. There's also a Stack API. There's a Jupyter Hub environment um, that's co-located with um, those data, so if you want to do processing, you can um, not move data very far, which is helpful. Um, and they also give you some DAS clusters if you want to get really fancy and do a lot of parallel processing. There's a lot of documentation as well. I suggest you check it out and um, sign up for an account. Um, on there is the data catalog, so you can actually go through and look at um, all the available data sets. There's 87 different collections when I counted last night, um, and we're adding more all the time. The next release is gonna be in the fall, um, and there'll be a bunch of more collections added then in addition to other features. There's also a hub um, and where you can visualize those data sets to get a sense of what they look like. This is um, nighttime land surface temperature from MODIS, um, but again, there's a huge amount of data sets you can look at. Um, the 20-minute version of this talk was going to show you how to use those data, but now I'll just show screenshots of documentation. Um, I'm going to point to ODC Stack, which is a relatively new repository software package. I just talked about it over there, so you can tune out for a couple minutes if you're in that. Um, the key points of this is ODC Stack is one of the ways to load stat assets that are described by Stack into X-arrays. That's kind of the short way of describing it and then you can do whatever data science you want from there. Um, a key point is that even though it says open data cube, it does not depend on data cube core, so you're not installing a whole bunch of database and other packages. It's a standalone repository that's just for loading stack items into X-arrays. Um, so um, it's the open data cube part is more of a branding decision. Um, and then it optionally, optionally uses Dask, so um, if you are working in a Dask parallel environment, ODC stack will do that. Um, and then this is just a picture of the documentation showing how you would use ODC stack on the planetary computer. Um, and again, as I mentioned, next door, um, we are going to be updating a lot of the notebooks um, on the planetary computer to use ODC stack um, as a part of the fall release as well. So there'll be more examples um, coming then. I think that's all the slides. Yeah, it's exciting. Wow. All right. <laughs>